Hello everyone. So welcome back. Today we will be seeing the uh, MongoDB database. Previously we have already uh, saw the Cassandra database. So these are the databases that are used widely in big data and machine learning for different purposes to store the data. So MongoDB is one of the non-SQL type database which, which is a document based database. Previously we have seen the Cassandra uh, which was a columnar database actually. So now uh, uh, today we will be seeing a document based database. So it is a MongoDB. Now MongoDB is available free. Uh, source code is available and the free edition you can use for the projects. But if you are going with the industry level uh, projects, you can also use the paid version of it. So we'll see how MongoDB works, what are the properties. So as I told you before, it is a document based database. So the record is stored in the form of document. So and the document is similar to the JSON file. So you know, you must be knowing in Java, we use the JSON file. Similarly in MongoDB, the data is being stored in the document and it is a um, combination of a field and value. So, uh, field and value is the basic criteria in which we have to store the data in MongoDB and the field of value may include the document, it may be an array or array of document. So, the example is given here, a, a record of student is being stored with name, age, status and the groups uh, he or she belongs to. So, it is stored in the form of key value pair we can say, instead of field we can use the term as key. So the advantages of using document oriented database is because we can, uh, it's easy to understand whatever the data is being stored. Uh, to sort the data, it becomes easy as compared to the other databases. And the polymorphism criteria is also supported into this uh, MongoDB. So uh, this reduces the time for the expensive joins, means no need to perform any joins. As in SQL, we have to perform joins to export the data from the databases but here there is no need to perform any join so this is the advantage of document based database so as i told you before mongodb is a non sql based databases which store the data in the form of key value pair it is open source freely available and it performs the high availability and scalability means easily the data can be accessed uh, stored or modified it also provides the feature of auto scaling Auto scaling means it can be integrated with different platforms, such as it can also work on Windows. Also, it can also it can work on Linux. So it can be installed across different platforms, and we can integrate it with different um, platforms also. So this is the feature of auto scaling, which is provided by MongoDB. Now, as I told you before, the document-based database means it will be similar to the JSON file. And like if it's a student is an object which has the attributes name, role number and subject. Here is given one example, we'll see. So what are the key features of MongoDBs? It provides us the high performance, means the insertion, updation and uh, modification of data uh, is done in a faster way as compared to other databases. So the query search is faster. It has a rich query language. It supports major crude operation. Crude operation, you must be knowing, you must be deal with it in the DBMS concept. So crude operations are also provided in MongoDB. The query language provides good text search and aggregation features. Good text search means easily the text search is possible because it is a document based database. So the searching is quite easy. At your replication factor is there means if the MongoDB leads to the failure then also the backup is stored into the server. So the data loss is not possible. The data is being stored in the form of replica. Sharding is a feature that is provided by MongoDB. Sharding means removing the unwanted part from the database. So the unwanted part can be easily removed from the database in MongoDB. So sharding is possible in MongoDB. It also supports multiple storage engines. So these are the some of the advantages or key features of MongoDB database. Like below is an example of uh, some of the organization where MongoDB is commonly used. So you all know this organization LinkedIn. Adobe, eBay, SAP, these are the topmost organizations or companies which use MongoDB as their backend database and they are storing the data into MongoDB only. They are not using any traditional database system. Also, they are not using any big data databases such as Hadoop or uh, Cassandra. 
they are using the database as mongodb so these are the topmost organization so here is a basic example we have two tables first is the student table next is the subject table in student table there are four fields whereas in subject there are two fields now if you want to insert a single record into two tables in traditional database system we have to write two queries first is for the first table second is for the another table but in nosql or in mongodb this is possible with the help of a single query in student we are inserting the student id student name and student class and in the subject we are inserting the specific subject so this is the advantage of mongodb over the traditional database system that the work can be done within the single query with the reducing the time and also increasing the performance so this was the basic explanation of mongodb what is the database what are the features and how the insertion is done i hope everyone is clear with the idea so thank you for the video and for more such videos make sure you subscribe the channel and stay tuned thank you everyone